<clears throat> Everybody, welcome. Ralph Havens here, AutoimmuneAnswers.com. And today's um, Facebook Live, I, um, I almost thought of taking that one, that one art piece down. I, um, but I thought, oh, what the heck? <clears throat> I'm in Baden's um, teepee room. So there's lots of, um, lots of toys here, lots of cool stuff. There's a teepee. And it's the most um, quiet room with everybody getting up and moving around to start the day. And um, today, we woke up to um, no power. So I thought, oh, well, I guess I'm not going to do my, my Facebook Live. I'm definitely going into the office in Bellingham because I have a lot of clients um, over the Internet today. But um, we have lots of snow. I'm not sure if you can see the snow. But, um, lots of snow, but it looks like blue skies. It's going to be a great day for the skiers today. But it's a little cold, so I'm in here. So, um, you know, I, I um, today's session is all about um, what you got to do. All you got to do is, and dot dot dot, and it's to how how to um, how to face a daunting task. And if you've been following me at all on Facebook Live or YouTube lately or the podcast, you know that Jen and I have um, some big decisions to make and figure out um, what to do because there's a lot of laws that look like they might be passed about taking away our rights to, um, to decide how to um, treat or not treat our totally healthy children. And it's the vaccine thing that's, that's here where there's a lot of mandating vaccines that are, um, look like they're going into place uh, here. We'll see if, if we can make a difference this Friday in Olympia in the state capitol. But, um, but as we've been looking at it, we thought, okay, um, are we going to leave the United States? Are we going to move to Vancouver? And um, there's a lot of stuff to do to, to immigrate into a new country, you know, um, even though it's just an hour away, it's, um, there's a lot of stuff to do. How do you work there? Um, how do you buy stuff there? How do you live there? You know, all that kind of thing. And we love Bellingham. So, so it's a big task. It's lots of stuff to do. And we thought, well, you know what, we wanted to move um, out of this house and, um, and move into Bellingham, the south side of Bellingham for a while. And um, we should start to uh, move forward on, uh, on getting ready for whatever's up for us. And, and, um, and I thought, okay, we got to sell the house and we got to do this and we got to do that and we got to do this. And, um, and Jen said, no, first we got to clean the house. And I'm like, okay, you're right. We got to clean the house. And so there's a, a few jobs to do. We have um, a few fix up things to do and, and um, cleaning the house and, and then, um, and then putting the house on the market and then um, seeing where we live and, and, um, and going each step at a time. And, and so as I was, as I was getting ready for today's session, um, I thought about that. And I thought, all you gotta do is trust and do the first step, you know? Isn't that, that the way it goes? It's like, you can only do the next step. And, um, and so it's the next step isn't so hard. For us, it's gonna be cleaning the house even more and fixing up the house a little bit. And, um, and so this morning, because I didn't have power, I thought, well, I'm just gonna do this exercise for myself. And I went through and, and came up with my list of all the things to do. And something came up that was, um, that was really cool. Um, I have a funny story about the, the, um, the new first things first, um, but I, I don't know if I'll even tell it to right now. It seemed kind of funny at the time. I don't think it would be that, that funny right now. So, um, but you know, I was watching the Super Bowl yesterday and um, there's a quarterback named Tom Brady that plays for a team, the New England Patriots. And they've had lots of um, controversy in the past because um, they've been accused and caught of cheating and all sorts of strange things in the past. And I used to just love to watch them not win. <laughs> that was my thing. And then um, and I started like uh, listening to Tom Brady more and, and he was going through a lot of personal um, angst, a lot of spiritual dissonance. He was basically, you know, even though he had won multiple Super Bowls in the past, he was um, in an interview I heard with on, in, on 60 Minutes, he was like, yeah, what is this all there is? And, you know, he has a beautiful wife, um, actually a, a supermodel. Um, she was in the Olympics um, opening ceremonies in Brazil. She came from poverty to um, a beautiful life. And um, they have beautiful kids. And she, he, he's a Super Bowl champion multiple times. And, and he was questioning, is this all there is? And so as I've been kind of watching him a little bit, I've come to, to realize, you know, people can make mistakes and they can um, – they could do things that are wrong and then um, and then it could be part of their their journey and, and um, we don't have to vilify them forever and what I noticed is 
he's got a lot of gratitude right now. Um, his level of gratitude is just way off the charts. And so what I was thinking was, and you can see it in the way he talks about his kids and his wife and um, the way he views football and, and everything. And, um, and so the other part of all you got to do is there's one part that I found very, very, very important. And that's to appreciate what we have already. And if you're dealing with a lot of really hard stuff, or you're trying to fight a big social issue, a political issue, or things seem like they're um, nearly impossible to, um, to change, and you're worried about your kids, and worried about maybe um, how to make it in life, and, and just um, whatever you're worried about, and you're working and working and trying to, to change things, um, one thing to do, besides um, all you gotta do is the next step, one thing that would be really cool, could be, you could see what you, how you feel about it, is to appreciate what you already have. So as I was writing all these things down, I was like, man, I've got a lot of really cool stuff in my life. And so I won't go through my list, but it's pretty big. It's like, there's my list. And, um, and then the, the, the power came back on. And, um, and so then I thought, well, I guess I could make my Facebook Live today. And so, um, so that's what I have for you today. And as a special gift, because you've been watching, if you're still here, I'm going to activate a Matrix Energetics session for you. And let's take um, your what you want, and your all you got to do is the next step. And I encourage you to do it in real life, like actually write these things down, you know, right? And then all the things that you're appreciative for right now, what you already have, what you appreciate, appreciates, right? And then we're going to go through your chakras, the pelvis, the second chakra, the third chakra, the fourth chakra is the heart chakra, the, the neck, the throat, the tonsils, the thyroid, the forehead, the top of the head, all around the body. And we're gonna activate that with a frequency in matrix energetics that's all about the chakras, frequency 12. And then we're gonna hook it up with the multiverse. So the universe and all the possibilities of the universe and we're going to hook that up with frequency 13, which is all about information. And run that through your DNA in a way that's useful for you. Cool thing about matrix energetics is it's set up to only do good. So even if you try to do bad, there was a guy that tried to learn it um, to seduce women. He saw all these um, women falling down on stage with R Richard Bartlett. And he thought, oh man, I'm going to learn that and I'm going to teach it and I'm going to like, I'm also just get a lot of women. And um, he went to Matrix Energetics and he tried, 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 and he didn't work. Never worked, never worked for him ever. So it's kind of set up um, to only do good. You can't do good. You can't steal or lie or cheat with it. So frequency 13, information through the multiverse, through all your chakras, activate now. All right, so you can notice what you notice, notice what's different. Message me, leave a comment below of what you notice. Give a thumbs up, or if you didn't like it, give a thumbs down. Let me know um, how you liked it and what you noticed. If you were to notice what you notice, what might that be? And let me know what your plan is and your next step. All you gotta do is this next step. And what do you appreciate in life? There's one more part to this, and that's what to do when the inner turmoil, the inner angst shows up. And I'll leave links for a meditation that I use every day in the description and in the YouTube, it'll be up in the upper part. All right, everybody, let's get out there and live. Let's really live. Bye now.